is here, and today we are playing uh, Red Dead Redemption, and while I wasn't recording, I went to um, to the different towns or whatever they're called, and saved like two of these towns, well actually three. So, and that's what I've been doing, and on the way I found this horse. Um, it's one of the apocalypse horses, and um, I didn't know I would come across one. And I would have get a certificate for it, but um, I don't know how to get that again because I remembered when I first ever played it, I got all the certificates, but I don't know how I did it. Yo. I'm just trying to think how did I do it. So now we're going off to the mission, one of the missions, because it's two missions with two people. I think one of them is Seth or something like that. And it's that far worse than the last person. Come on! So yeah, I found one of the Apocalypse Horses, which is one, the, which is this one. And um, usually I used to find the fire one. Yeah. I don't know if it's called a war horse or not because there'd be two war horses. But I don't know. So now we're going over here, this whole area and stuff. And what I was thinking as well, because two Red Dead Dungeons are out on Xbox One. Like after I played this and completed this, I would go on to do um, um, do the, uh, the first ever one. What's that, the first one? How the hell did I come up with horse? Okay, let's kill someone. So yeah, I will do the missions and so, and, um, and save the town separate. Let's meet Seth. Seth. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John? He's he's he's, he's, a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I seen husbands eating wives, mothers eating sons, graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo hoo. Big tough John Marston has scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get them, Moses! Get them! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get them. Go! Yeah. Get them! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. 
Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you John Marston? Same as made me. Same as made Moses. Is there a cure? These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon, then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. So now he said by clearing out the graveyards, which is the skulls, as you see, and there's a mystery there too. So now I'm gonna go over here. Go. Crazy old Seth likes the undead, as usual. Let's go. Yeah. And I think that Moses dude was the dude that died in the original game. I cannot remember. It's been ages I played these two. So let's see. Let's go back down here, I guess. Come. I'm hoping to find another horse. Drowning another horse. Probably the, the fly one. I think the fly one might be next, or the fire one. Let's go. Because there's different types of horses. Uh, you got this one, this is like a poison uh, horse. You got a normal horse, but that's not an apocalypse horse. Because you only got the poison, the flies, the fire and death itself and the unicorn. Yes, I said the unicorn. Rainbows everywhere. It's in a certain area and I remember which certain area that is. So like once I complete the game I'll show you where it is. But it's mostly around YouTube really. How to find the unicorn. Oh good job right, let's save these people. Because why not? Which brick wants it next? Like, how are they headless? I don't know if they messed 
the game up with some of my transfer in it. I, I'm not blaming nobody, but it's quite funny. Cause look at them, look. Counting them as deaths. What is this? Are they shooting me now? Yeah, they're shooting me now. Listen, lady, the game is uh, messing up here. Uh, so we are back, I guess you could say. I think I need to restart it or go to my last save or something like that. Because I was over here, right? But it was glitched now. It's like all the zombies return to people with headless heads. Headless heads, that, that doesn't make sense. Cause that never happened on 360. This happening to the Xbox One. Somebody get this thing off of me! Stop that, you mutant! So now we can save these people. See? This time I'll make sure you're dead. Oh. Places we had to kill more zombies. Ow. Help me.
time for the searching party. I want to go around this because it's a chest on the opposite side. I do not care about you, I care about my chests. I care about my treasure more. <laughs> that sounds mean. Right, let's see what she wants. I heard there was a she. Is this horse following me? Is this my horse following me right now? Oh, she turned into a zombie. <laughs> I just pushed her. I'm just kicking her. Get here, freak! There we go, we've got a zombie friend. Get here, zombie friend. Let's take her with us. Ah, uh, okay. Go. Go. I'm gonna call you Bob. What you You're coming with me. me. Makes a character so that's a thing. Let's check on Abigail. I think that's what her name is. The one that saved uh, John Marston. And her father uh, is in charge of this farm. <laughs> Let's take Bob with us. First hell walks the earth, then you turn up. Could my week get any worse? <gasps> oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> But it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Now come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. Yeah. So now we're gonna venture into the barn. Oh, apparently it shows us the jump button now. So now we can't enter anywhere, can we? No. My legs are on fire. So it looks like we have to go to the old fashioned way. Oh my gosh, I hate climbing things. Right, let's get up here. Jump up to grab this and go this way. As you can hear, there's zombies in the barn. Of course. 
course it's gonna be dark as hell. No, it's not actually. Drew! You alright? Keep on staying quiet, it's just that I remember playing this ages ago and I had a jump scare of him coming out of that hay bale. I thought he would be fine, but of course the, it was full of zombies, so he wouldn't be alive. I could have gone through there, but it was locked. So now we have to talk to the girl, and she's gonna be real upset now. Yeah. Well, John. You always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well, take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. We protected, um, I think it was Abigail or Barney. Well, I think that's the short term of it. And we captured this horse here and hopefully traveled to others. And at the meanwhile, once like the next episode will be up, um, I probably have traveled all around these areas, probably all to those graves and through every single town. But I might be coming across the um the towns anyways. So I'll do the next episode probably like some one of these days because you know me I don't record a daily sort of thing. 
definitely not daily Minecraft. I know I've not been doing Minecraft for a while, but um, I have been doing certain things. What if there's no cure? Like mining and all of that. Nothing new. So yeah. Hope you like this video and probably gave it a like. And if you want to see more, I'm guessing you should subscribe then. Uh, if you want to see more. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, so I'll be seeing you in the next video. But for now, Killer XCC out.